everybody. <laughs> I'm Lara Johnson Wheeler and we are live from New York reporting for Show Studio on the Autumn Winter 19 shows. It's very snowy as you can tell. We've just come from the Cease Marsh Ann show where Zanderlack showed really a triumphant return to form. Um, we saw a definite return to the brights, the neons, the pinks, the purples, the oranges, the greens that we are used to seeing from Cease Marsh Ann. That incredibly rich and vibrant colour palette that last season Xander moved away from. Well, it returned and with a real bang. It was an extraordinarily beautiful show. I'll set the scene a little bit. Um, the location was on the west side, kind of near the river. And as we walked into the show, it was a very dimly lit room. But scattered all across the floor was sort of sparkles. Um, uh, crystals which emerged to be Swarovski crystals um, you could sort of hear them crunch as you walked across them a little bit like the um, salt we're used to walking across right now in New York with all the snow coming down um, these crystals were everywhere and as the show began the PRs opened little Ziploc baggies full of more crystals and scattered more of them um, before the lights went down and the show began Michel Gobert did the soundtrack um, and played um, a, a group of songs that were both joyful and melancholy. Um, some Frank Ocean was in there, some James Blake, um, and I think some musical numbers, but uh, I couldn't reference those with my ear. Um, so the show began and we saw what Xander was referring to this season. Um, last season he talked about loss and the season before um, he talked about family. And this season Xander was talking about love and it was definitely a love letter of sorts to what he likes to do. He also said that he was looking to comfort and discomfort. And where those um, elements lay were definitely in the fabrication of the clothing themselves. We saw um, a lot of lace, a fabric that Xander says he's not very comfortable using. Um, but in these pieces it looked incredibly comfortable it looked really like someone who was used to using a fabric such as lace we saw um, silk slip dresses asymmetric um, often draped with sort of pleating and darting and um, lined with clashing lace colors so sort of green clashing with a blue a, a purple clashing with an orange um, you know, these, this kind of palette is what Xander really made his mark with and what these, um, what his fans in New York really love wearing. Um, not only did we see lace, we saw ruffled chiffon, we saw um, these um, very beautiful sort of cut out tailoring in orange, sorry it's very snowy, in orange, in purple, in all of these different colours. It really was quite a magnificent um, show. Set against the Swarovski crystal floor, we also, it became clear that a Swarovski, Swarovski was a collaboration that um, he was working with in the collection too. To work with Swarovski is not necessarily a rare thing for brands, um, you know, they're a big sponsor in the fashion world and to partner with Swarovski means not only an injection of cash but also product. Um, but I think I'm not necessarily alone in thinking that sometimes this can look a little forced. Um, that being said, in this collection, it absolutely didn't. There was something really, really fundamentally um, flawless about the conception of using Swarovski crystals in the collection. We saw looks that had the same effect of the sparkle as we saw on the floor, most notably on a purple suit. And I think that the reason that these looked so good and worked so well is because Xander had returned to his brights, to the colours that he's used to using. Um, it really was, and I kind of hate myself for saying this, but quite magical um, to see this show. And it was really, it was met with a very, very positive reception. Um, where Xander's discomfort lies, I think, is that he feels like he has to go back to these colours that he refers to as perhaps cliche but fundamentally there's a market for it one of the final the final two looks were these very ruffled multicolored pieces and one could wonder perhaps whether these are 
particularly lucrative. They're never very flattering big ruffles. But, um, you know, with the likes of Molly Goddard and Tomo Koizumi, Koizumi um, who showed very early on in um, New York Fashion Week a debut at Marc Jacobs' store, ruffles are definitely back and here to stay. Um, I'll stop waffling and um, I feel like I'm getting really rather snowed on. But thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll be continuing. So do subscribe to Show Studios YouTube for more from moi over the next few days. Thank you and goodbye.